What's up, everyone? First off, I'm going to start by introducing myself. My name is Austin McRae. I'm an up-and-coming fighter, MMA fighter. I uh, fight at 125 pounds. I'm originally from Deltona, Florida, residing in Daytona Beach now. Um, I just want to take a second to explain what MMA means to me and how it's affected my life. Well, like when I was 15 years old, I uh, saw a bunch of kids fighting in the backyard down at the local park in the back and checked it out. And uh, one of my buddies actually was like, hey man, you should, should try it out. You're athletic and stuff like that. So I gave it a shot. My buddy knew a little bit of, about MMA, Garrett Nelson. And uh, we did a little bit of training in the yard and I went out there and I guess I performed well. Everybody told me I did good. And uh, um, another up and coming fighter, he was training at the time, Kagan Odie. He saw me and he actually paid for me to come to his gym because I didn't have money to go to the gym. My parents didn't have much money, single mom and everything like that. So from there, I started training at Sosa Martial Arts where I went on to do five amateur Muay Thai fights and I won all five. <clears throat> and then when I turned 18, I went on to do MMA. I left my amateur MMA career at eight and one. I was ranked number one in the Southeast United States and I went on to the pros. And when I went to my first pro fight, I took the fight against a very tough three and zero opponent from Coconut Creek, James Blair. He's a tough dude. Um, he weathered the storm in the first round. Uh, I, I feel like I won the first round, 10-8, no question. Uh, into the second round, my cardio started going out the door. I had an adrenaline dump, and uh, he ended up taking me down and just kept me on the ground. Third round, I was totally gassed. I couldn't move. From there, uh, I lost by decision, but April 1st, I'm looking to get back in the cage, and I'll be fighting Rodrigo Caro from Argentina. He's 2-1. and one. I'm looking to redeem myself. I've been putting in so much work, and I feel like I'm at my best right now. My weight is crazy good. I've never been this close to fight weight three weeks out. Um, my cardio feels great. My conditioning, I feel faster and stronger than I ever have. <clears throat> I'm going to go in there April 1st, and I'm going to put on a show. Um, looking for sponsors and stuff like that. Um, I've picked up a couple and I look to promote their business as much as I, as much as I can and represent them in the cage. Um, <clears throat> yeah, MMA has affected my life a lot. Um, I haven't taken it as seriously as I should have in the past. Uh, slacked off training. I like to go out and party with my friends, but I think I'm growing up now and I'm ready to go full throttle and make it to the UFC. I feel like I have the potential everyone tells me I do and I'm ready just to buckle down and cut my losses and go for it and I feel like I can be very successful if I uh, devote my time, dedicate myself, keep my motivation up, <clears throat> just keep training. Um, also, not only did I train at uh, social martial arts, I linked up with uh, Mitchell Chamali El Will Acevedo, Hank Porcher, Eric, Angel, all of them over at Tough as Nails. And I go over there as much as possible to get my wrestling game up. That was actually my one loss as an amateur uh, to a wrestler. And after that, I started going to Tough as Nails. And my next fight ended in an armbar in the first round. So great work over there. Um, I represent Sosa Martial Arts and Tough as Nails. Just trying to get my name on the map. I'm trying to get out there and get to the UFC. Um, I'd like to give back to my community as much as possible if I make it. Um, I love helping people. People, I invite them to the gym, train them for free. I don't look to make money off people. I just want to do what I love and love what I do. <clears throat> the Josh Salmon Foundation, I saw it because of Mitchell and I'm fighting April 1st and all that. I uh, looked into it. I thought it would be a great idea to go ahead and look into it more so I filled out my application I'm making this video and 
hopefully I can get some help. I uh, don't need much. I got sponsors for gear and stuff like that. Only thing I really have to do is travel a lot and um, it, it gets tight. So anything would help. And uh, yeah, another thing I want to give a shout out to Josh Salmon. He gave so much to the community and he was loved by many and he's missed by many and he was just a great guy all around. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's me, Austin A. McRae. Ready April 1st. I'm coming out there to shine, baby. Thank you.